time be like? Just start it. Alright, we'll, we'll see how far we can Tell get. me when to go. I'll just do this and then just I'll, go now. I'll do my own regular motors. Alright, so this is the sarcomere, and it is the smallest unit of the myosin, or the myofibril, which is part of the cell, part of the muscle cell. And uh, when you want to have a contraction to allow you to move, your brain sends an impulse down the motor neuron, and it ends up going to the axon terminal. And it actually goes to the sarcomere level, so it goes to a pretty small level. And neurotransmitters, which should be up here, jump across the neuromuscular junction, causing for an action potential to occur in the sarcolemma. It travels, the uh, action potential travels down the sarcolemma. If it listens to me. It's an inanimate object, it can't listen to you. It doesn't matter, it still should be self disciplined. Oh my god. And then Just keep going. It, it goes to the DHP receptor. And when it received the DHP receptor senses this action potential and it triggers the sarcoplasmic reticulum to secrete calcium. But before that can happen, ATP must be required to bond to the sarcoma reticulum pumps, causing crap? for uh, calcium to be secreted go, into, the, calcium go. into the sarcolemma. Hold that up. Yeah. When calcium is uh, secreted, it then bonds to the troponin molecules that are found on the side of the actin filament pointing towards the myosin and its heads. And so when calcium bonds to this actin, it causes it to rotate, allowing for the actin active sites of the, of the actin to be pointing towards the myosin heads of the myosin filament. This allows for these two to bond, the myosin heads to bond to these active sites. Before that can happen, ATP must be attached and must be attached to the myosin head, which energizes it and puts it in its high energy configuration state, which allows for a cross bridge to be formed between the myosin heads. Just keep going. When this cross bridge is formed, the myosin heads go back to their low energy configuration state, and it allows for them to contract towards the middle of the sarcomere, allowing for the actin to get pushed with the myosin head, thus shortening the sarcomere, shortening the myosofibrils, that myosin fi myos myofibrils that they make up, thus shortening the cells and the muscle, which allow for a contraction and movement to occur. Good job. Yeah. <laughs>